Hello Aquarius, welcome to Sylvivan. We're gonna go ahead and get started with your money and career tarot card reading. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Aquarius need to know at this moment in time? What do they need to surrender and release to attract more prosperity or open, it, open up a new door into their life? Let's see. Surrender to rest and sleep. I feel like you may want to be recuperating this month. Maybe even taking a vacation or a mini vacation. Surrender your ego and you also get divine timing. So something may be coming to you in divine timing and it may be just a need to kind of step back and allow the universe to bring in your manifestations or whatever it is that you're waiting for. This may be a wanting to travel, a wanting to rest maybe even, or even just kind of wanting... Um, I feel like for some of you, you kind of want something to happen now or something like that. Yeah. But there, if, if you surrender to effortlessness, it'll come to you faster. So stop pushing so hard and like put your ego aside for a minute. And the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So kind of go with the flow, right? Keep things lighthearted. Um, Maybe something, some news comes along that you don't like and it may have to, you may have to kind of be forced to either accept it or let it go. Uh, whichever one it is for you, just make sure you kind of uh, accept and release, accept and release and stay in this type of energy throughout the month in order for you to stay positive and upbeat when it comes to your money, career, finances. So let's see. I'm going to start with this card. So the five of pentacles, like I said, maybe something isn't going your way. There may be a little bit hardship or maybe this is just what you're feeling right now. You may be struggling with finances in some type of way. We all go through this. Um, nothing's ever perfect, right? So there may be um, a sense of maybe you spent too much money on something and maybe you regret it now. Or maybe there's a need for you to feel more gratitude towards life and towards what you have. All right, because I do feel like if you feel like something isn't really... Um, up to standards or up to meeting up to what you want, right? Maybe you're investing into something and you feel like it's not paying off. I feel like maybe if you practice a little bit more gratitude, it will cultivate a lot faster or better for you. I do feel like what you're working on is definitely you something you really um, put your hard work and effort into and something that is worth um, and that has a lot of potential and success or has a lot of successful um, undernotes to it, or that maybe you are already very successful, but something this month kind of isn't as good as you want it to be. If that is the case, there is just a need to kind of step back and acknowledge how much or how far you have come. You also get Page of Swords. There's good news coming your way. I do feel like there's people who are keeping an eye on your page or keeping an eye on your, I, I said page. This might be like a social media account. King of Cups. And I do feel like there's a lot of love you're receiving from people because um, I do feel like for some of you, you want to give up on something you really, really love just because it wasn't, it's not going as good as you want it to. But sometimes, you know, that happens and it's almost like you went through some and you've been going through, you've been struggling in some type of way. I'm getting the Ten of Swords energy mixed in with the five of pentacles and then the page of swords is next so it's like you're learning to free yourself you're learning to have a more positive mindset in order to grow your business or in order to grow um your money or finances this month yeah it's like there's a need to stay optimistic and positive and even use your charismatic or in more intuitive side or empathic side to get to where you need to be um being very emotionally mature with people around you as well people may be coming to you for advice in some type of way yeah there you are the star card you people look up to you aquarius people look up to you maybe you're a writer or you like um you like to write or writing will be very important for you this month but look, you get the Sun card and the Creator and also the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Like this is a good time to appreciate what you have, like I said, because I feel like something may not be working out in your favor just because of the energy that you're putting out. Like you may not be very appreciative or you may like need to cultivate a little bit more gratitude. I mean, we all get in this type of, and I, I know I get in this energy sometimes where um, I have a hard time appreciating what I have. And so I need to kind of take a step back and really write down or make a mental note of all the blessings that I have in my life. And it's usually the smaller things, right? Like that little hummingbird that's currently going to eat from the little honey I make it. 
It's so cute. I that's those are the little things that I appreciate. So sometimes maybe just cultivating cultivating a little bit more gratitude for your surroundings is what's going to um, help you see the lighter side of life or help things move along um, even faster or better. So let things unfold naturally, and ooh, let yeah let let things unfold naturally for sure because there's gonna be changes, really good changes happening, right? But it's gonna have to you're gonna have to stay optimistic. If you don't stay optimistic, then I feel like this shit can turn 100% the other direction and you will not like it. So the more optimistic you stay about your current situation and where things are headed and where things are going, the better. So let's go ahead and it's a really good month for changes. I do want to say that. So if you wanted to switch something up, um, your intuition is telling you this. Yeah, I feel like you're very like you're you're curious about something or you're you're wondering like, hmm, I wonder if I change this up or do this or do that, um, if that's going to help. I do feel like that can help. So follow your intuition when it comes to um, the little changes or ideas that you get. I do feel like um, there's going to be a renewed sense of faith and inspiration coming your way. So like I said, if things haven't been working to your favor, there's going to be a lot of inspiration yeah see that big door big picture thinking visionary and inspired ideas like i said there is a lot of inspired ideas or inspiration that the universe or someone even around you um or even just just like nature um like i said like i brought up the the honey i'm not the honey the syrup and the hummingbird i just saw outside my window um i do feel like there's a need for you to take inspiration or you stepping outside into nature can inspire you in some type of way. I don't know if you're some sort of artist or just you like spending time outdoors or um, surrounding yourself even with people who are very positive or who talk and oh, motivational speakers, like listen to motivational speakers on YouTube or something like that. That can really help you uh, shift your energy and get a look at the big bigger picture of things. That's exactly what you need to do here what I said in the beginning right to see the bigger picture and acknowledge how far you've come acknowledge how much work you've put into something and I feel like this is going to be a huge huge shift in energy so like I said if you've been stuck in this sort of energy this month this new fresh energy where you're going to get an inspired idea and you're going to give birth to that I'm talking about a huge change in destiny for you because you've come up with something that's going to be so much better so much bigger for you and a lot more um a lot more inspiring to you and those around you for sure but a lot of, a lot more life force and definitely feels like a miracle um coming in for you and this is just what i'm picking up on now and this is like after i kind of shifted out of this energy which i feel like you were stuck on for a while like kind of like not having enough um kind of struggling and stuff like that as soon as i shifted out of that energy and tuned into what's actually in front of you and what's actually coming in for you it's fucking beautiful so i wish you nothing but love prosperity because i do see it on the cards and i wish i wish that you um you tap into this um hidden potential that i feel like it is hidden but you're learning to tap into it and there's just a need um to get a different perspective on where it is that you're going and where it is that you want to be. But that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading, Aquarius. Um, I will catch you guys next time or at your other signs. Bye for now.